Look closely at this archived next rad radar loop and a flight that's about to encounter severe adverse weather. The radar image initially shows a sizable gap in the convective activity, so the aircraft flies a route that appears to be clear. But weather doesn't always move in a purely linear fashion, and the radar image doesn't predict storm growth or decay. So the plane flies directly into a hailstorm that caused significant damage to the aircraft. The Weather in the Cockpit program, also known as WIDIC, performs research to develop recommendations for standards and guidance documents to address safety-related gaps and hazards with the objective of preventing incidents like this and others from happening in the future. Most information when you're in a cockpit is real time, so it's very hard if you look at a display and everything is real time and the one item on there that isn't is weather to continuously remember that that information could be as much as 20 minutes old. So in part it's training, in part it's just human behavior, in part it's the implementation and how things are represented. So there's a variety of ways to try to make it more intuitive that when you're looking at all these displays you have a better idea of what the weather actually is. Human behavior is a specialty of engineering psychologist Ian Johnson, who's also a pilot. On this day, flying a simulator at the FAA William J. Hughes Technical Center, Johnson's in the hot seat for part of his human factors research. In this setting, Johnson is conducting an evaluation of a weather presentation prior to the commencement of a Wittig study. We look at the human behavior in terms of the capabilities and limitation and how we can apply that to you know, training, um, development of systems. The way the information is presented has a lot to do with how the pilot interprets that information and actually makes a decision which is part of human behavior. The WIDIC program is also studying ways of providing visibility and surface wind information to pilots in remote areas. For general aviation, visibility-related accidents are the number one cause of fatal weather-related accidents, while surface winds are the number one cause of non-fatal accidents. Every research project we do, we are solving something. Um, and that's how we go through it. So we'll look at accidents, incidents, and then when we do a research effort, we're targeting a specific answer. 